Since Island Variety, the Inquirer and Mirror, David Goodman Tiling, Cam Appliance, Rick's Paint and Maintenance, Maddock at Marine, Nantucket Insurance, Lindsay Incorporated, Fair, Fairgrounds Restaurant, Harbor Fuel, Oil Corporation, Don Allen Ford, Sign Here, Sea Grill, Island Carpets, Island Pharmacy, Island Lumber, Joe Rapaki CPA, Killen Real Estate, Cognitive oh. Coleman Insurance, Brock Insurance, Axe Screen and Window Repair, Santos Rubbish Removal, Nantucket Civic League, Nantucket Booster Club, Nantucket Airlines, and Nantucket Electric. We thank all these fine sponsors for bringing you portions of this field hockey game. And how are you doing today, Beth? Great. It turned out, uh, I was worried we were going to maybe get a little rain, but um, it's almost like it's getting a little bright. Nice day for field hockey. Not a lot of wind. Um, the girls are coming off of a loss the other day to D.Y. What is their, do we know their overall record right that now? That would make them a three and one, unless they snuck in one other <laughs> off-island game in between. But, uh, yeah, I had them undefeated going into that game. I did watch a little of that game. I think it was either one to nothing or one to one. What's the final score? I, you know, I didn't, I didn't catch that. I, think, I was I watching think, a little bit of soccer. I think just before halftime, maybe they were losing one to nothing. But well, you, you could tell D.Y. was, you know, the, that next level up, the way they were playing. Right, uh, right. And they are a larger division school. Yeah. So oh. we have, um, since the last time we, when we uh, videoed this, we have a couple of players that were missing that last yeah, game the, in the there. Yeah, the cruises are over, yeah. the weddings are over, and they're, they're all back. <laughs> <laughs> right, and so... Few injuries still, still. still yeah, uh, yeah, we did get a kind of a, a big injury since then with uh, Hannah Pike has got, you know, one of the captains hurt her knee and potentially out for the rest of the season. We'll see. I think she's gone to the doctors this week, but it didn't sound like it was a, um, a very good injury. But we have Megan Fails uh, playing today. She was away, and Lily Sylvia was away as well, and Alex Shannon was... Uh, injured the last time, so they're in the action today. And going against Hull High School, which on paper seems like a good matchup, but looking here, Hull only has uh, two reserves here on the bench, so a very small squad. I don't think I've seen the squad uh, this small, you know, play play Nantucket uh, at this field. And know. somebody said that we beat them pretty handedly last year. Like, I was hearing like a 16 to nothing or something. I don't know about that. Yeah, some uh, some of Hull sports are uh, very, very good. I know, I know the boys have met them in, in uh, tournament play and in basketball. I think the uh, football team is uh, hooked up with them this year. Uh, so <coughs> it's a, a situation where uh, they go. are a good good uh, sports town, but evidently the, uh, the field hockey is down. Maybe maybe the girls are playing soccer. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You know, I think with some of these schools, once they introduce that that second sport, it takes a little bit away from the um, the field hockey. And there are a lot of other sports in the fall that Nantucket is not involved in. You know, you have like tennis. What, maybe. You have the tennis. You have the uh, cross country and, and things like that. There, you get spread out a little bit. And right Nantucket's now. first corner there it, uh, jumps over their stick, so would they going to get an obstruction call for that? Hull to take the quick hit, but Nantucket's going to keep it right back in there. Mackenzie Holgate trying to get across. Oh, there's a little lift. It goes to. Um, what do we have for 23 now? Oh, that's, that's uh, Megan Fales, 23. I think we had an advancing on Nantucket. We've got you covered in town and out of town. In town, 45 Main Street, out of town, 122 Pleasant Street, Nantucket Island Pharmacy, Go Whalers. So again, we talked about this last time, but we have a pretty young team here. You know, right now on the field, I think we have one senior. Yeah, I think uh, I think the coach is uh, mildly surprised that the team has uh, come out of the uh, shoot nice. at the level they're at. You know, when you when you come out with a young team, you you, you expect to make uh, a lot of uh, adjustments and a lot of learning going along. So when, when you get some victories, you know, right away in September, you know, that bodes well for you. That's what the uh, the field hockey team has done. Second corner here comes out to Megan Fails. Megan with a nice big drive there. Uh, Nantucket not able to pick it up on that backside though. Mackenzie was there, but the ball got there pretty quickly. 
you're back in school, if you need back to school supplies, stop by Island Variety. Also, Island Variety for all your party favors. Halloween cars, Halloween is next month. <coughs> they get called for the dangerous hit, so I'm going to take a little <coughs> game possession again right outside the circle. Kayla Malta does a little uh, self-start there, which that rule came in maybe, was it last year that that came into play? That was, the, that was play? The, uh, the, the new good rule. Yeah. Oh, I like that rule. I do, yeah. I do too. It, it keeps the game moving a little bit um, on the free hits. But it seems like these these two teams that we've seen them play haven't really taken the, that much well, advantage well, of it. Well, see, sometimes it's a, it becomes a, a coaching thing. Oh, you know, the coaches uh, are not up on the, uh, the new changes. It becomes a skill that's not taught you. It's, it's, it's basically a new skill, and it's a new rule all in one, so the, the girl's got to be taught to, to do it. Let's go, so we got to be there. keeping the pressure on yeah, here, really, in this one. Oh. A restart of that? I I feel like Hull maybe wasn't uh, in position and ready to go. So they're having a restart of the corner. It's a little bit difficult to see here where we're sitting today, Dick. We have the, uh, we have the bench opposing here. bench kind of right in front yeah. of us. <laughs> Gino wanted me to back the truck right up to the bench. He wanted us to sit <laughs> on the bench, but uh, we opted for here. So we get some quick uh, changes right now. Yeah, and then one thing Nantucket's going to get a chance to do is play a lot of uh, kids today, young kids too. Keep right. fresh legs in there. So we have Sabrina Kyberg coming in, Tia Salter, and Lily Sylvia, the cruiser, I think. I think she was the cruise girl <laughs> the last time. <laughs> nice stop. Oh. <laughs> Megan with that quick start, she gets it right out to Sabrina. Sabrina, beautiful oh. cross. And again, we're not able to kind of pick that up. That was a nice setup there by Sabrina, but nobody there, as you said. Matic Marine, full service marina, over 40 years of service. Matic Marine, time to get your boats out of the water. Give Matic Marine a call. Casey Snow bringing it in. There and we there go. we go. <laughs> so she, well, you, do you have, um, she Casey? definitely, that was Casey, she definitely scored the last time for us. Right. Um, so, I missed, we don't have a tally of the. No, uh, I missed the, uh, I missed the Inquire Mirror. They used to uh, tally everything oh, up. They, they don't it? do that anymore, oh. no. No. Uh, the new sports slash reporter is uh, not into that. And oh. Plus, he's leaving the island, I oh. think, in about four or five weeks. So, But it was nice you know, to pick up the inquiry on Thursday and see who, right. had the, who had the goals in soccer and field hockey, and then you could you know, add on to them easily to the next week. Right. We'll have to check in with the... Um, maybe, we'll maybe the score table has... They might, they might have the tallies there, yes. Right. Well, there we go. They you know, they did their little self-start right there. Maybe, again, it's an individual thing. Kind of surprised we didn't get a um, call there. When you hear all those sticks smacking against each other, they're usually going to call that. That's the first time Hall has gotten over on this end of the field, right. but uh, Joelle, nice drive, stopped up by Hall. Carolyn Canetti there, though, and she's looking to uh, she's looking to get it up to Sabrina. I think we get an obstruction call on Hull. So Carolyn with the, the quick start gets it to Casey. Casey trying to move it up. Madison, nice pass up to Sabrina. Sabrina has Tia out in front of her. Oh. Off of the hall feet, they they hold the whistle, they keep it in play. Madison 
Gets a nice drive off, and they're going to call that dangerous. Yep. Nantucket Airlines, we're all about the islands. Call now for reservations, 228-6234. It's Tia with a nice stop there. Paul trying to get it outside there, 25, but Nantucket just keeps pressuring, put it back in. Casey, nice pass. And Nantucket is uh, much uh, much stronger than Hull, and they're uh, keeping the pressure on them down there. They're not finishing off their shots as well as I'd like to, but uh, they're certainly keeping the pressure on. And again, Nantucket yep. uh, rotating in three or four girls at a, uh, a shift here. Yep, we have, um, I think Sarah Clooney came back into the game. Mackenzie Holgate came back Opposite into the game, deep, and Miles. we had. Um, Opposite has to be deep. Trying to think who else just came in there. Uh, Alex Shannon just came in, so she was the one who, our, when we last televised, was out for injury. So I think she's just kind of getting back into it. Yep. Nice try. Nice try. Getting advancing there. Carolyn Canetti with the free hit. Nice passing. And Lily with the uh, one-timer over there. Lily Sylvia almost almost gets it. Just went wide of the goal, I think. A little, little bit, yeah, a little bit left. I'll get it outside the circle. That girl might want to change it up a little bit. She does keep doing the same thing, and they yeah. keep, they keep uh, blocking it up. Good job, Jules. It's not a very strong shot, and it goes pretty straight, so it's hot, right. easy to keep your eye on. Alex Shannon gets it right back into the circle and went off of uh, Nantucket feet. So here we go. She'll try again. Oh, this got time she that did time. shift yeah. it up a little bit. Yeah. Let me untuck it right there. Unlucky, Joel. Nice effort. The game just started a few minutes late. The officials uh, probably on that, that plane to get in just about uh, a few minutes before one. It's hard to start the game at one if you're landing at uh, a few minutes before one. But. I don't believe there's a JV game today. No, it doesn't seem like it. We, I'm um, trying to figure out if they have one sub or two subs as I look over at the bench. Right, looks like one. <laughs> Katie Fox just checked in for Carolyn Canetti. Katie's a, uh, a freshman. I think she, Katie played a little bit of the last game too. I don't know how many freshmen um, they have playing for the, you know, that are actually um, playing on the varsity. This well, roster that we have kind of has the both. Yeah, it's, everybody's there, so <coughs> again, when you, when you don't have a JV game, sometimes there's a few girls oh, yeah, that uh, don't normally dress and play for the varsity, you get a, get right. a chance. Seems like Katie yeah. maybe does, though, because she was there last time. It's going to be a dangerous kick out by the goalie, and we'll have another corner for Nantucket. Corner coming up is brought to us by the Sea Grill. All the locals go for great fish and excellent seafood. The Sea Grill, check them out online at www.thesegrill.com. Nice and easy, right? Get your stick I think we, you know, because we have so many people coming in and out that they're playing a little bit different positions than they might be used to. Ball comes out to Mackenzie, gets past her a little bit. Oh, geez, she's going to get a dangerous hit there. I think she sort of frustrated herself. She let the ball get by her, and she tried to make up for it by getting it back in in a hurry. You know, with feel like it's, I feel like it's tricky is because you always end up, I feel like they always end up playing to the level of the team that they're playing against. So they're pretty, the Antigua's a pretty skilled team, but I feel like 
we're not getting to see all their skills right now. I think the officials too are sort of leaning towards uh, making Nantucket make almost the perfect play here. Right. The, the, any little thing there, they're giving the ball back to Hull. Right, like that last call, the ball didn't really, I mean, it, it came up off a stick, but it didn't really come up very high. Are these the regular officials or are these replacement <laughs> officials? <laughs> They well, they have pink shirts. I don't know. <laughs> They're going crazy in the NFL with the replacement officials. Well, halfway through the first half, uh, Nantucket has a one-to-nothing nice. lead. Nice pass there. Here goes Mackenzie Holgate bringing it up the right wing. Bounces off the Hall player's feet. <laughs> Okay, look again, taking it in. Oh. Off the feet. <laughs> Come on, girls, six down, block it up. Nice. Left, left, left. Kayla pits it back up. Nice little flat pass over to Alex Shannon. She gets it inside the circle. Casey's right there. Big save, oh. there. There it is. Oh. Just wide of the goal again. Right on the edge. That first save was a nice one by the hog goal. You can hear it. Whack the pads there. Took it right in. Big save brought to you by Don Allen Ford. Brought to Don Allen Ford. You too can save out there on all new and used vehicles. And uh, call, call time out time on out. the field. Maybe because she can't really give her girls a break. Yeah. It's, this one girl, you think if they had one sub, they they would have already gotten her into the game and sort of rotate you know, right. between three or four girls. I know there must be a core of girls who know they're going to play the whole game. It right. looks like right now they're all going to play the whole game. This, <laughs> this one sub, uh, the second girl, she could be a sub, but she uh, doesn't look like she's uh, dressed, in, for, the game. dressed for playing. No. She's, she has I a mean, real, real nice jacket there. The one thing it seems, it, it has been a very fast-paced game, though. So they don't seem like they could be getting too tired there. No. Well, two of the things that come to mind is what you mentioned, you know, and you see that a lot in, in all sports, is you, you play down to your opponent. And the thing that I'm seeing is that the officials, I think, are realizing that uh, this could be a real mismatch, and they're trying to keep keep it uh, as close mm -hmm. for as long as possible and uh, you, you do see that sometimes but the, you know the score is only one to nothing too and we're well more than halfway through oh yeah the longer it's the longer it stays yeah. uh, one to nothing two to nothing uh, the more uh, synced up and uh, excited Hull's going to get and then they could make it a game yeah it's, it's not saying that it's a turnover but uh, well, and I also they think don't have any wins this year. I know that. That's what one girl told me. I don't know how many games they played. I assume they played maybe three. When you're the, um, you know, the Nantucket goalie hasn't had to make any kind of save, and so the longer you're sitting there, you know, you're not warmed up and really ready to go. Now are they s still playing uh, two goalies. Last I don't time know. we last time we we saw the switch. Yeah. And. Uh, We'll have We're to seeing see. it in boys soccer. It's a common thing. We, we were at the boys soccer game last night, and they had one goalie play the first half, and then one goalie and they play the second half. They? It, I it, saw the second half. That was a great for, game. Yeah, it was a great game. The boys soccer game. The boys uh, rose to the occasion. Second half with two nice goals and one or two to nothing. But uh, they were switching the, each in, in each half, you know. Right. But they've gone to one play in one half, one play in the second half. Oh, oh, they were switching within the half, so they, they were play like a yeah. quarter. Yeah, they would play, they play a quarter and then switch at the you know the 15 minute mark. Lock it up, let's go. And they'd do the same in the second half. Come on, White. So a little bit of sloppy play going on right now, and I'm, I would think uh, you know Lori, Coach Marin might not be happy about it because they're getting you know the advancing calls inside the circle, which. It's going off their feet. Um, 
you know, they, they need to be moving their feet a little bit more so that they're not getting those advancing calls. Well, there they had, there they had the ball right in the, the goalie and a couple of girls there, but no one could get their stick on it. So they did have a good set up there, just couldn't finish it off. We do. So it looks like we have Farrell. I didn't see uh, Farrell check in. It's going to be advancing on Hull. So Hall getting a little push there, at least getting it out of their... Uh, Over that 25, right. 25, yeah, but Nantucket gets it right back in. Let's go, set it up, let's go! Nantucket Electric, go wheels, fight hard, conserve energy, Nantucket Electric. Yeah. Gonna be obstruction oh, on Hall. Nice little pass to Mackenzie. Kenzie flicks it over. Oh, we get a shot. Nicely done. That's on four. Nice try. And they're going to call that dangerous. I dangerous think. on themselves, yeah. yeah. On the first or well, the second pass. After it hit her. Yeah, it didn't. Again, it didn't really seem like it came up that high. But As I say, the officials yeah. sort of making Nantucket play a perfect we'll game. We'll try here. again. Here goes Mackenzie with the cross. Hall makes a nice stop, but Joel Breyer right there to push it back in. Ball comes up off the stick there, and so we're going to get a corner for Nantucket. Let's try it, right? You've got to come to a case, right? You've got to come and to Nantucket's it. playing their whole team. Put that stick up. down, Godlatsky. They're not worried about letting anybody sit back on uh, <laughs> their defensive end of the field. I think Nantucket's going to capitalize on this one here. Just getting too many of these chances. I think they're trying something a little different. Yep, they're going to get another corner out of it, I think. Yep. Good yeah. job by the goalkeeper. Yeah. She's certainly keeping her hull in the game right now. The officials are really holding the whistle inside the uh, circle when you know, there's a penalty that's happening on Hull, but they, because Nantucket maintains possession, they'll they'll hold their whistle. You can kind of see that she has her arm up. I don't. What I don't understand is, you know, when they say okay, enough time has gone. You know, that they don't, that the play has kind of gone through that. Well, logically, then, you think if they're doing that, you you would logically you think, say they'll let the play finish. But right. as you're saying, when does the play finish? Right. Oh, nice big drive there, but Nantucket not able to get their stick on it. And I like that because it does keep the play moving. You know, they could be blowing the whistle constantly in there, repeating the right. corners. I certainly remember when that always happened. <laughs> you probably do too, right? Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of whistles. Right. <laughs> when did when did field hockey start here in Nantucket? Back in the late seventies. Uh, the early 80s? Um, yeah, I, you know, I don't think I know. Volta, this time go back to Fields, right? Instead of going to Casey, right? Stay where you are. You go back to Megan instead of Casey. Right? Connor coming up, brought to us by You're Cowboys Meat Market and, and Deli. Hot lunch right? specials are available. Sandwiches all day at Cowboys. Mm -hmm. Give them a call, 228-8766. Well, that was a nice little pass there. Oh, there a goal, and that's uh, 17. That's Casey again. Casey's got two of them. So Nantucket at the 940 mark of the first half gets uh, their second goal. It might be eight. 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 <laughs> we need some new we light bulbs out lights. there. That was a nice little play on the corner, though. It looked like it was something new that they hadn't necessarily tried. The ball came out to Michaela, and then the last time, the last play, they had. Um, oh, jeez! Oh. She threw her stick. 
and they're letting that happen. I think she. Well, I think she tripped. I think she was trying to reach the ball. And I don't know if Nantucka knew she was in, and Nantucka girl came in front of her, and I don't know if it was a trip or she just tripped on what, but the stick did the fly stick out. The stick went flying. I'm surprised they didn't blow the whistle though. <laughs> She's <laughs> laughing about it. That's good. Now we're back to 2D. Okay? So you and Nutty left to right. Nice job, Logan. Oh, yes. okay? Yeah, so again, getting. She has to be all right. They can't afford yeah, to get hurt. They're, right. They're all Iron Men out there. Nantucket getting ladies. more players in. <laughs> Alana Mann just, uh, just came in. She played a bit again, the, the game that we televised before, but um, nice passing. But they feel like they're letting the ball just come right to the Antica and it goes in. We'll see who picks it up. It's whoever goes for the ball, got the goal. Uh, Mackenzie Holgate. That just sort of dribbled in. Right now, all together. And, uh, She's not yelling out any assists. So I know, I yeah, know. that's what the, our Nantucket scorekeeper was saying. I feel like that happened the last time, too. Yeah. I mean, that definitely would have had an assist on it, and I thought that the goal before it should have, too. Look up. Come on, Jess, and have it back. Now go up. Nice pass. Nice pass. That was an excellent pass by Megan Fails. She had uh, Kara Godleski right there. We saw her, uh, Kara, the last time right there on the uh, oh, post. Right there. Oh, Casey, to keep the Casey on now. Snell just got another goal. Patrick for Casey. And uh, oh, we got a the, closeness, the closeness of the game just got really out of hand as Nantucket has scored three goals in like the last Three minutes. Well, she did give an assist that time. 17 from 7. Oh, she did. Okay. Um, Check out uh, TV99, special advertising incentive. That's the logos on it. Plays all day long. So it flows as low as 15 a week, 100 spots per day. If you're in business, retail, service, cabs, anyone starting out of business, get your name out there and keep it out there. TV. 99, be a sponsor. Give him a call. Give Gino a call. 825-8817. So did the uh, the one substitute get in for how is that yeah. what you were saying? Yep. She did. I mean, Tucker is really dominating now. and we, I mean, we, we did kind of anticipate that. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't call that as a dangerous. A lot of times when you swing and miss and we get some people around. It may have to happen, especially, you know, it goes up another two or three goals. Is that, you know, all the first oh, nice team plays up. might have to sit down and right. play pretty much with the second team. I mean, Tucker, Tucker probably has almost a, uh, a full second team. They, yeah, we do, because I'm just looking. I didn't see um, Willow Kane is in over there. This is her first year playing. I don't know if they, it doesn't appear that we have all the JVs here, but they definitely have, um, Nantucket doesn't have all GV players here, but they definitely have some, um, well, it's, Some it's, of their yeah, JV the, the ones, here. yeah, the ones you get, a, it, you, you sort of have the crossover kids, the ones that play, you know, mainly JV, but then do get a chance to be with the varsity. Right. Uh, I think we have all the uh, sophomores. When I coached, I always thought it was unfair if you had the whole JV team dressed and then you brought them in there, because the varsity kids are looking around saying, right. "I practice all week, and all of a sudden the JVs are playing," so right. it, it's. It's uh, there's two sides of just mixing in though the few like this here, yeah, and, and you get the second team. But sometimes in a game like this, Ooh, off the feet. If you have if everybody's dressed, all of a sudden the first team builds up the lead, 
it gets so big so quickly, the second team gets in there, and then all of a sudden, Wait, no, the JVs, the if they're dressed to get in there, and it winds up the JVs wind up getting more playing time than the second team right. kids in the course right. of the whole game. Glory, seems like Glory's doing a great job, though, of uh, you know mixing up and getting other players in. Well, that's the one advantage of a game like this is that everybody does get a chance to play. And Nice passing. Nantucket's doing some great passing right now. Bounced up, off of uh, Nantucket feet, though. I don't, have, I don't have 16 in my roster for I think Nantucket. that's uh, 16. Let me see. Oh, that's Tia Salter. She's doing a good job. She's yeah. hustling up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She, um, I remember last year watching her play in lacrosse, and she's fast. And she gets moving. Oh, okay, they back everybody up here and there'll be uh Paul trying to get it out. <laughs> Not too often did I get a cross midfield. It's one of the rare times. Deanna P bringing it out to the side. I can't say her last name. <laughs> Can you pronounce that one? No. Who's there, Hall? She has to just go with Diana. Yeah. Good job on Nantucket getting it out. You know, they uh, they had it in the circle there for a moment. Now they have a nice breakaway going here. Sarah Clooney, nice pass to Megan. And do we get a corner out of it? Good save by the uh, goalkeeper. I think the uh, official said the ball came up too high, resulting in the corner. And the uh, timekeeper is moving, so that means we're down to the uh, final two minutes of the first half. It's passed. Nice job, oh, we're going to get nice another job. corner. Corner coming up, brought to us by Albert G. Brock. They want to wish every student the very best school year. Brock Insurance is here to provide you all your insurance needs. 228-0104. Here out to Megan Fails. Nice little pass in there. Megan Cranston gets a good shot off, but Paul right there to stop it up. One minute to go in the first half, and you tuck it with a four to zero lead. Backing it up with something. Sarah Clooney keeps it. I think in that was a bad, a bad choice of passes yeah, by the Hall girl. Yeah, she kind of passed it right in front of the net. Nice pass there by Nantucket. Oh. And there's another. No, no I thought, thought it was in. in. Oh. They're gonna get a corner out of it. I don't know if they're gonna have enough time to get the corner they're, off. They're gonna have to hustle on this. This final corner of the first half brought to us by Island Lumber, One Pulpus Road, Go Wheels, Pratt Lambert Paints. Rain or shine, Island Lumber is always on time. And as you say, if they don't hurry, they might not get it off. Although, I think sometimes, too, like you, if you're in the middle of a corner, you um, get to finish it. You get to finish it, yeah. Oh, three, one. That's it. The, yep. And wow. no half. Didn't count. Okay, so we have played one half here. It's the wheel is four, hull zero.